Now, in the case you do want to set a precise speed, you know that you need to set it to exactly 50% or 125% or whatever the number it is that you're looking for, you can do it numerically. Over here in the inspector, under the properties for a video clip, down at the bottom, you've got a section called timing. I'm going to click show to expose those controls. And here you see we have a bunch of controls about the timing of the clip. And we're going to talk about some of them a little at a time now. For starters, though, right here where it says speed, you see we can enter a specific number. I can just double click there and type 100 to make it exactly 100%. Or I could type 50 to make it 50%. And now it's playing at 50% slow motion. Or I could even type in 25. And now it's playing at 25% slow motion, super slow motion. Or, of course, you could type in a higher number, you know, anything over 100, like let's go 400. And now it's playing at 400% where he's running like Superman. Right? So you've got all those options just by typing a specific number there where it says speed. Another thing I want to show you is that there's a check mark here for reverse. If I click the reverse, now he's going to be running backwards. And in fact, this time he's going to be running backwards at 400%. If I set that to 100, now he's running backwards at 100%. And we see the exact same action and the same duration of the clip, but we're seeing it in reverse. So this is a quick and easy way to do a specific effect. If you know that you want to play backwards or you know you want to set a specific number, just go ahead and go to the inspector, go to the properties tab in that timing section, and that's where you can set those settings.